Hey, hello everybody. I'm Robo Gaming, and I'm going to be playing some more Super Mario Maker 2. Uh, because if you remember in the last episode, my Joy-Cons are running out of juice, but I managed to reduce them, and I'm back in the spirit of things, so I'm not going to go anywhere. What's this thing? The foundation is done! But you can't come here because the uh, grout is still dry. Yeah. So that's a totally logical explanation. I can't walk on the foundation because the grout is dry. Uh, okay, check out the castle. Pretty nice. How about we build the West Hall? Yep. The sound is a little off. Oh, construction has started in West Hall 1F. Green Toad's in charge of this one. Let's get some more jobs done, okay? Yeah. So basically, uh, I checked the sound on the, uh, lot in the last video, and it wasn't really that good, so I'm just gonna keep it at this volume. It doesn't really matter anymore. You can flip pages in the job list with L and R, and you can find incomplete jobs by pressing Y. Back to work. Some new jobs just came. So I just press this. Ooh, that's a lot of them. Yeah, Angry Sun, it's still annoyed about that. I don't know I'm gonna bother. Underground coin collecting sounds cool though. I, s I don't know if these are developer levels still, or if they're actually real levels. I'm guessing this is still a developer level with the name like Eccentric Millionaire coming from a coin collection level. Hey look, it's the newest version. They really are going to town with this, aren't they? No idea what I was supposed to do there. It says grabbing all 30 coins, so I'm assuming there are exactly 30 coins that I need to get. I just hope it's not that hard. I'm gonna save the star for now. See if I can do it that easy. What the heck? I guess the star is just there as a bonus when you're trying to find things. Damn. Ugh. This is so annoying. <laughs> I expect this to be so much easier. Really? Could I just place 30 coins? No, I guess not. <laughs> That'd be cool though. Uh, I'm going to explore around, then I'll come back after I find what I'm looking for. Okay. Okay, I've done some exploring, and I've decided that I should probably do this room first. And the best part is, if I get trapped, I can just loop around. Of course, it looks like these Goombas also can get into fights. Which does not seem like something I would want to have them. But it looks like they have a chain. That goes on. Ah, I gotta try and hit that block. Yeah, it's very, very confusing and annoying. I have two more lives. I still don't know what happens if I run out of lives, but I'm just gonna hope that I'm still allowed to like keep playing and that it doesn't like stop me. That's a big one. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I really need to learn how to control this better because it's not working out for me. Well, time to figure out what, uh... Koopas don't walk off edges, so all they'll do is come across the door. I guess if I stand right here, then all the work's in for me. Right? Want us to see him? Waiting. Trying to go through the door. What? What? I I clicked the button too fast. What does that say? I have no idea what it says. Yeah, no, this level. You should never do something that's not fun for you. So I'm just going to quite stop doing it. Seems like a logical conclusion. Sorry, Mario. I guess I'll try to find something else. Oh well. Well, these ones are easier levels, it looks like. Let's do Bonsaiville Ambush. Did he just call me Big Red? You're the one with the red mushroom head, dude. Father of name withheld. Is the ground falling or is that just... Oh, no, it's just like an air Ooh. I'm gonna meow you. Yeah, boy. I guess I can climb up those types of walls as much as I want. I can climb up. I can like stand still on these walls. Sorry, it's getting quiet there. Uh, that's so cool. Wow. <laughs> this level is definitely a lot easier than the other one. I mean. Might not seem that easy based on how it seems to be looking. But oh, alright, it's one of those things you can scratch. Bam! Now you can grab that. Ooh, that one's fell off. That was not have been good. Slowly crawl over. Some sort of ooh. I really need the cat suit done. I guess I'll find a way to get through without the cat suit. There's this convenient non cat suit path that seems to not be very good for my complexion. Well, at least there's ground now. I guess I must have done some extra if you uh, held out for longer.
Come on, just take that one coin. <laughs> I already got almost 50 extra coins on top of the 150 that I get from winning. Yeah, that, that was a lot more of my take on it. I'm starting to feel like I didn't get, I'm understanding the styles that I like. 4% done with the castle, nice. Seesaw catapults, why not? I'm noticing most of these levels are either in the 3D World theme or the new Super Mario Bros. theme. It's like, that's some originality, can you? Oof, this is a... Uh, some mushrooms. This is like experimenting with catapults. Now drop down, run up, and now Let's go on this side. I think I saw a question mark. I wonder if that would be useful out there. I mean, they give you an extra shot, but if the level is so easy, there's no point in even putting in a one-up. It's like people always associate easy levels with levels where you get lots of one-ups and stuff, but just like if they give you a lot of one-ups, it's like if and it's an easy level, what's the point of even putting in the one-ups? You know what I mean? Or is it not? Anyways. Darn it. I thought this is not 3D world, so you can't just ground pound the cross. Why do you want me to go here? I can slowly edge my way down. Wait. I don't know if there's another mushroom or something. Huh. Well, that's a thing. I guess there's a red pipe if you go fast enough. Wee! Get in! Ooh, bonus room. Can't go back. So I'm gonna have to go forward. I guess this shows that big boy weighs more. Nice. Some extra 10 coins. See, I can do the secret puzzles. Like, I might have completely failed in the first episode, but I can do the secret puzzles. I'm not that bad at this game. I mean, I'm pretty not good at this game since I'm not doing that much. I'm not doing that well, I mean. But still, at least I'm doing something. It's really interesting how they made the checkpoints like not special alone. Because just like before, they always had it so that the checkpoints always gave you like a, a mushroom style when you're doing it. But now they don't. Now when you're, uh, when you're doing your thing, you don't get a mushroom effect when you step on checkpoint, you only get a... Huh. Nice. Uh, you don't get a mushroom effect, you just get the checkpoint. What? This is showing that ground pounds can like fling things. So it's definitely like that P-switch, well not P-switch, but that on-off block level where you want to test. This one I can definitely get the full 10 coins on. At least I think I can. Wait for that. I have a sack of it. There we go. 10 coins. 10 extra coins just for hitting the top of the post. Usually you get a 1 up for that, but there's no point in getting 1 ups when you finish the level in this game. Huh, 500 coins. And we're almost done with the West Hall. That's nice. But I still have some more stuff to do. The, the Dark Side of the Moon. Let's go exploring on the Dark Side of the Moon by the mischievous mole. Well, this one's at least more original. It's in the 
Super Mario's three style. <laughs> I noticed that shell right at like, this moment that I walked under it. Oof. Uh, let's not do that this time. Maybe if I wait, I'll be able to figure it out. Ugh. I'm trying to get to hit those piranhas. Maybe it's just wishful thinking. Don't want to waste all of my lives in the first oh, yeah. trap. Yeah, I know, Luigi. I'm a wuss and deserve to do. Oh my god. That's a lot faster than I was expecting. I've literally never done Mario Bros. 3 before, so. Oh my gosh. Ow. See, that's what I wanted to do before. Uh. Well, there's no new levels unlocked, so I have to do this. Life left. Can't lose it. Hey, look, it's the inverted world. I guess there's some pipes which will convert everything. <sighs> there we go. Ten points. Maybe I can't really go back. But that's kind of cool how they show everything being upside down. So I guess we have to keep going this way. Darn it, jump to it. This is very, uh, trippy. Slopes really don't work so well on the first one. Oh, hello, little Shelly. I don't want to be friends with you. I'm guessing once I flip the world back over. Yeah, give me that pipe. You gonna fix the world for me, Pipe? Hey, look, we're back right around here. You spin me right around and around, around. Wait! Ah! That was a little bit too risky. Why did I do that? <laughs> So this is what I was talking about. I can try again, I can give up, or I can call Luigi. Hmm. I'm gonna just try again, Luigi. I think this is definitely within my realm of possibility. No! <laughs> I say that right before I just run into the pit. I still don't know how to deal with these falling shells. There we go. Now we go into the reversing pipe. So I'm still funny how this reversing pipe literally just flips the world. I'll take those 10 extra coins because I need those suckers. I'm not going to waste my mushroom like I did last time. I'm gonna keep going. Jump over the shelly. I could try to keep going in the backwards world, but it doesn't look like I am able to. So I'm just gonna come back in the normal world. And hopefully the shelly won't be such a problem. I'm gonna stop the shell. I guess I need to use the shell. Or not. Maybe that's just a bonus that I don't actually need. Or maybe I can just run jump. There we go. Fire boy! Fire, fire, fire! Of course, now I can't. Sp well, I can sprint. It's just really annoying. Because you need to always shoot a fireball beforehand. There's no bang, 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 bang. Get some 10 coin bonus. This is definitely my type of level. I'm guessing this is where the inverted world is going to become important to me. Well, I really don't like those falling shells, but they're like so good for the backwards world, you know, like, ship because 
They can be backwards or forwards without a problem. Ah, oh, it's so trippy. I don't like that. I don't like this one bit. Well, at least we have an extra life. If that's any consolation. I'm guessing that was just for that. Just for the bonus. Hey look, it's a giant seesaw. There's bonuses there too, so maybe there it is a possible way you could do this upside down. But I'm not even gonna try. I've done my part. I just wanna get into the door. See what secrets lie inside! There we go. Well, that's the end of the level. Let's back this way. Oh, it's just that door. Nice! I think there's like an inverted there's an invert pipe there, so I'm guessing there's definitely a secret way if you go into an inverted world, maybe the door is like somewhere else. But I don't care! I'm just gonna take my coins because I that level would, I spent enough time on that level. <laughs> wow, this video is already 20 minutes long. Hasn't felt like 20 minutes at all. And now that the West Hall is complete, I can work on the Central Hall. Nice. I guess there's a toad for every segment. No, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. You still can't come here if it's ground is dry. Well, what about if I make you do something? Oh, so that's what that does. Uh, I'll do this. I'm sure about this, right? Yes, yes I am. Seriously? Destruction is done, is working on me. So now that I can't just go there anyways because I'm like a fence and off the wall. How am I even supposed to get in th through these places? They're all blocked up. Hello Toad. The first floor complete. I want I want to work on the second floor, but I can't start until the second floor of the main part's done. Oh. Hey, this one has an exclamation point. You do? Um this is like a special dog level? Okay. <laughs> um, sure. The undo dog is giving me a level. Reach the goal without getting grabbed when the swinging goes. I'm gonna have to start over. So I have to make sure that I don't lose that clear condition. So I have to jump over! There we go. And you'll get grabbed, won't you? There we go. Oh, this is fun. Just dodging claws. No! Well, that's, uh... This is really annoying. I mean, there's a big prize if you win, but... It's like... Is it really worth it? You know what, I'll spend a few minutes, but I'm not going to spend too much time. It's not worth it. It's not worth my time! Darn it, I hit the bone. Like one bone. At least I'm smaller! Ugh. And I hate that sorting over makes you lose a life. So it's like, even when I don't die, I still have a limited number of tries. 
You know what? For this one, even if they do get caught in a claw, I'm just gonna get as far as I can just to see what happens. Yeah. I know that's fine. So it's fine. Get me out! Get me out! I just want to see how this level is. If there's anything too difficult later on or something. Take me up. I never would have thought the undo dog would want me to do anything for him. Die. Skeletons don't deserve to live. Except, unless it's Sans the skeleton. Who here likes Undertale? He's like an ice trap. Hey, if you're running too fast, you'll get hit by the claw, and then everything will be pointless. I mean, I'm not gonna get the special undo dog prize, but maybe they'll still let me win and collect my regional points anyways. When I say regional, I meant like the coins that I put that I run into. I don't know. This is like what's this? Do they seriously just expect me to not get caught here? How would I even get past that without getting a claw? Ugh. I mean, I guess that works, just getting a different creature to claw into it. I'll try to kill this guy by jumping on the claw. Three, two, one. I could swing my way up, but... The undo dog doesn't like me swinging too much. So even though, of course, I've already failed, I still want to try to be as loyal as possible. This is annoying. Yay! Yeah, so this level is definitely difficult. Like, the undo dog really is pushing, pushing it. Yeah, so the mushroom's a trap because it makes me bigger and I don't want that. I don't want my hitbox to be any larger than it already is. Yeah, I might die in one hit, but what do you do? Oh well. I guess it's over anyways. Well that's fine. I don't care about the undo dog anyways. Yeah, I'm not gonna call Luigi for that one. Just I don't know if there's like a limited number of those things or anything. Can I do it again? No, it's just the one thing. The 200 coins isn't that good anyways for being difficult. Yeah. Anywho, kill the ta taskmaster. Oh, wait. So swinging claw escape is added to your blog? Oh, I already did that one. So here's some new ones. There's one easy one called the Shoe Stomper. There's very little payout, but still, why not? Just get, why don't we do it? Do the easy ones first. Because the more you can, you can slowly build up the difficulty and you can like learn more. Hey, I like this. I like Snowy Boy. Chew, I like the chew. Maybe that's why it's called Chew Stopper. It's supposed to be a pun about chew. Did not need that mushroom, but I'll take it. That's a lot of shoes. I'll take your shoe. You get a shoe. You get a shoe. Everyone gets a shoe. Put a shoe inside of a shoe. A giant shoe. Yeah, you can't do that. That'd be cool if you could shoe that. But it's not really any fun. Oh, pop the checkpoint. Hey, look at the giant shoe. I'll take that. Big shoes are better than normal shoes. What's that? Oh right, you can do like a ground stomp, can't right? 
No, I do that. There we go. We go to the ground stomp with the big shoes. It's the it's the claw shoe thing. It's the stiletto. I think they call it. Darn it! it won't let me jump in the shoe. Ah. Shoe stopper by celebrity DJ. I mean that this could be a real person, but I'm not getting my hopes up because I know that the car will just make me seem good. Give me that extra. I get an extra life every time I do that, so it's like really nice. There we go, I got the stiletto. Stiletto is great. I love stiletto. I mean, it seems exactly the same as the other things, but you know how it is. Can't even get in here. So I guess I have to try to get through without, without boot stomping. Oh, that's contract. Darn it! There's piranhas everywhere on this level. I mean, seriously. And because I get one extra life from this shoe part at the beginning every time that I lose, I'm never gonna run out of lives. I'm just gonna get annoyed. Well, I might run out of lives if I do that every time. Oh well. Why don't I make this an hour long special? Summer. No one's gonna have anything to do anyways. My shoe! How could you die? Fine. Just like a minute ago, I was talking about how this would be so great because I just keep getting all my lives back. But I'm not getting my lives back. I'm just getting this pitiful excuse. I don't know. My one life back. I just won. Why goes the giant shoe? That's fine. Little shoe works too. Darn it! It's a floppy, floppy shoe. Ah. I might actually lose this level somehow, despite the fact it's literally just centered around giant shoe goombas, which literally can do nothing bad. I'll just keep my giant shoe, thank you very much. Until right now, and I'm going to slowly and steadily march. Take that. There we go. Just hold it down. Unlike the unlike the helicopter thing, which actually requires you to put some extra effort in. There's so, so many shoes! Ugh. If only you could place down just the shoe, but then it would despawn before you could actually do anything fun with it. So I guess it's, it's like important that they spawn with a Goomba so that you can collect for your prize. At least I've established my dominance with this line. Like, Goomba. Out of sync, my favorite. Perfect. Darn it. Stupid fire guy. Darn it. Oh well. I'm going to just, uh, I'll give up because there's other levels. This is supposed to be one of the easiest levels, but somehow I'm struggling because I just don't really know what mechanics are. Oh well. I guess that level didn't really vibe with me. 
Let's just do the swinging claw ropes course. Oh, so this is basically just the level before except without the undo dog special thing. Yeah, this is like the same thing. No, it's not. I guess I was supposed to play this beforehand. Just learn what they do so I know what not to do. There we go. Three, two. Made it. Whee! Getting random star power. Ah. <laughs> I I think I went a little bit power hungry there. Just instant star power. Sprints as fast as you can. Say, so, this reminds me of that other course, except it's different. Oof. I should probably practice. It's not like I have a limited number of lives or anything. I mean, that's like the only way I can get across anyways, so why not? Figure it out. Oh, yeah. Luigi looks treated like a child when I don't do good enough. I'm not a child, I'm Mario. I'm the older brother. Come on! Momentum! Momentum! Launch! Ha, oh, broke it. I mean, there's no way to get that 10 coins without seriously breaking things. I mean, I think there's something I want you to do with those Koopas, but I'm not gonna do them. supposed to step on them. Let's well, find I can do it without that. Oof. Yeah. In these levels holding down the buttons is usually key. I should probably figure that out by now, but I haven't. Whee! Did I seriously just Doesn't matter Well it does if I'm gonna fail like that. Go! Go! Ouch! <sighs> Last life. I mean, the lives don't really mean anything. It's just Luigi complaining about how bad you are, and then you just get back to it. But. Why, Luigi? <laughs> Let's go. And this time, I'll actually catch my eye. Yeah. Darn it. I don't want to be in these claws. It's a little just unstable ground. Whatever you do, don't jump out of the claws when you're not ready. Because the claws won't have mercy. Whew, that's close. Big launch. I can't believe I actually got that. Nice, and I got the bonus at the end too. Nice. So I guess it's not just every single level I do, it's just every single time I beat a level, they advance with the work a little bit. Which is quite interesting thing to think about. Key Master! You'll need four keys if you want, and it's like a true ending or something. 
Nice, by Agent 2. This is the Mario World thing, if I'm not mistaken. First of all, I'm gonna have to take a shell here or something to get through. Or I'll take the P-switch. The first guy has to like, stop these ghosts from annoying me. Sorry ghost, but not today, thank you. I hope this is like a special thing. Because it gives you keys and not key coins, there's no point in having a safety coin. I guess you just have to figure out what things you're going to need to use or what things you're going to need to take. Is this like a thing where you need like a chain? Can I pick this up? Can I hold down here? There I'm guessing we're going to need to get the other string. So this is basically just one of those puzzle levels that you get in a normal terrible Mario game. Sorry Boo, I don't like you. I'm just gonna jump over you. This is so uncomfortable. Okay. So I'll put you there. I'll grab you and put you there. So I'll put hope. Come on. Hopes and dreams. Hopes and dreams. This is so annoying. Just let me out. See, no, that's not a checkpoint. But there's a key. And I need the key for the true ending. I must get the true ending. Mash, mashing buttons is key. Come on. Here we go, made it. Died yet, so I'm just gonna keep this key. I'll just hope that there are second chances. Just lunches. I'm guessing that the power block would be a good thing to bring here. Let's try to scout out the cow. Yeah, we definitely need the cow here. Well, time to go get that, I guess. I think I need a new mushroom. But I don't think I'm going to get a new mushroom. Jump. Jump! Jump, you fucking fool! There you go. For just screaming at Mario, I'm controlling him. I mean, sometimes it doesn't feel like I'm in control. <sighs> like then. How am I sliding on grates? You should put a wet floor sign or something. Whee! You know, I just realized that's a mushroom dispenser and all block. Silly me. So I can just go back up every time I get a mushroom. Yeah, I guess I'll save the P-Switch thing for last. But first, we'll take you. Come on up here. Skadoosh. Skadoosh. I almost did that on the first try. Come on. Come on, mash buttons there. 
Button mashing always seems to work when it comes to going high places. Unless there's enemies or spikes mixed in. Then it doesn't really get you very far, it just gets you to annoy the population B. Do you want under? Okay. I have to get up. There we go. Now I just have to slowly make my way up. There we go. That gave me a life. Extra life always needed. And now I have two keys. Should probably put these keys in the locks just in case they I lose them. You know, just in case. But the only way to do that is to first uh just trigger this P switch. And now it's time to go. I guess there's a normal ending and a true ending, it looks like. But if the locked doors is a true ending, it's not really true at all, unless it's just special like that. It looks like I'm going to need two more keys. There's one key right here. So I'll just... This is a lot of doors. I hate this so much. Whenever the screen goes black, uh, my, my, my camera always bugs out. No pun intended. Okay, so I need one more key! Finished almost all the puzzle. Which is funny, since it looks like there's actually two extra puzzles, so maybe they don't have to be all of them. So let's go this direction. What's here? Is that just the normal pipe out? Or are these like extra puzzles? I'll try this one. Ah, so just like Pick a block then. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm gonna go get my mushroom back so that these ghosts don't destroy me. Reassurance is key. If you have two hit points, then it's always better because then they, of course, just can't one shot you. And getting one shot is never good. Because that means that you're not strong enough. Because I, I don't know. Because I remember seeing a comment on my earlier video asking me to play Deltarune. I downloaded it. It was lots of fun until I decided to do the Jebel boss fight. You know, they make it sound so simple, but it's actually so incredibly difficult. I have no idea what I would need to bring here. A P switch wouldn't suffice. I might need a spring. To get a second boo ring, but I don't know. I don't like that. I'm gonna try this one. Maybe this one isn't as pay to win. Oh, I see. It's just. I don't even see. That's annoying. There's ghosties on the platform! Run! To hope. Hope and pray! Uh, apparently these are called stretches. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Get my reassurance back. Firstly, hitting this thing. Seriously, how is there nothing to boo? <sighs> Too bad, so sad. Time to try to find the Find a place to get the last key. How's about this last room down here? These bubblies signify that um, there's probably going to be something with the bubbly. They just blow you up. How am I supposed to... 
Ah, oh, I need this. I need the pal block to make a pack. So I need to run over. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. In this, in this game, for some reason, you just you move a little too fast, and you you'd never think that moving fast would be a problem, but it's definitely a problem, like a real big, hefty problem. We just have to have to really try and just go. This is so annoyingly precise, I hate it. Here we go. Just have to. Stay in the stream. Stay mainstream. Here we go. Final key. I think that all of the right side levels were really easy and all of the left side levels were incredibly, incredibly difficult. It's almost like it was planned. I like I like this style of game. Story mode is so much more fun. Yeah, this is already going to be one of my longest videos, but hey, why not have an hour long special? So how about that? Hour long special. I could break it up into two videos, but which is fun enough. I probably should have checked that pipe above, but I'll just go with that level. Nice. And with that, not only do I get the, all the special coins prize, uh, the main hall also gets continued construction. So maybe. Nice. I have enough coins to start the east hall. So we'll do that. 99 coins. It's so annoying. I just need one more and I like, hit the big 100. Which is hopefully what my subscribers will reach before summer ends, because that would be so fun. But now all the toads are at work, so, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and, uh, I'll, uh, see you in the next video, which might be more Maker, might not be, based on different factors, so uh, uh, if you guys want to see more Mario Maker, uh, then tell me in the comments below, but if you guys want me to play a different game, like uh, more Pokemon or more uh, Bre no, Zelda, then tell me, because I really don't know what to play anymore, and it's getting more and more difficult to find a reason to come back to these videos. So be, I'd be a lot more inspired if you commented things that you'd want me to see so I could have some inspiration. So I'll see you in the next video I guess and I might make a new quick questions video soon after this just for the fun of things. So I'll see you then I guess. Goodbye.